Rebecca, thank you for checking out my video. I hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy during these crazy times, um, especially my fellow dancers and performers out there. I know it is a struggle not being able to be in a studio. Um, I'm certainly having a bit of a problem with it. Um, it's tough to stay motivated and positive to do class every day. Um, so I thought that today I would feel myself struggling. Um, I've been trying to do ballet or dance of some variety every single day, so I thought that if I feel myself doing this bar today, um, it might be that little bit of extra motivation that someone needed uh, to do class today. Um, if you have never danced before, um, or you haven't danced in years and you've stumbled across my video, then welcome. Um, please do follow along. Um, and let's celebrate what our bodies can do and are doing for us right now because um, we need to take care of ourselves. Uh, if you do like my video, please like and comment below, let me know, give me a follow um, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I've been thinking about doing some live stream classes, so let me know if that is something you would be interested in. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so before we start, um, we're going to do a little bit of a warm up. Um, so throughout the class, if you're not familiar with a ballet class, um, I'm going to set the exercise uh, so you know what you're going to do, then we'll do it with music. So I'll demonstrate it. So you are going to need a bar, chair, something to hold on to. My whole training I've been told don't grip onto the bar and it's like I've been working up to this moment because if you grip onto a chair too hard you, you know about it. Just take a moment to uh, check into your posture. This is something I like to do before I take class and something I always do when I teach a class uh, just to sort of get the bodies ready for what we're about to do. So um, you're going to stand with your feet together and you're just going to make sure that the weight is a little bit lifted on the balls of the feet, that you're spreading over all ten toes, you're not favouring one side or one foot. Pulling up through the legs, you're going to tuck that pelvis slightly under. So a lot of people, you know, your natural stance, you have that, what um, my old ballet teacher used to call a banana back. You want to lift up out of the abdominal so that you have that room just to tuck the pelvis under a little bit. Abdominals engage, shoulders pushing down into the back and crown of the head lifting up. Okay, good. Now you're in this perfect position. Do not move. Um, so we're going to do the warm up. We're going to start. We're going to tilt the right ear to the right shoulder, back to center, to the left, back to the right, to the left. Then we're going to drop the chin. We're going to do a half circle all the way around and then a half circle all the way around, coming back up. Then we're going to do four shoulder rolls forward. Three, four, four back, pushing those shoulders down into the spine like I was talking about. Four forward and four back. Then you're going to move on to your feet. You're going to take your right foot. You're going to circle your ankle four times one way and four times the other way. Then close. Then four times. Quick circles, just warming up the ankle and feet together. Then we're going to do four demi plies in the parallel position, squeezing the legs together. Now you're not going to go too low, this is going to stretch the Achilles tendon. So you don't want to stick the butt out so you can get lower. You want to imagine there's a wall behind you and you're going to slide down it just four times. Then we're going to do plie, pop the heels, rising up, lower resisting. Then reverse it, rising up, demi plie, drop the heels and stretch. Repeat both of them again, demi, pop, rise, lower, rise, plie and stretch. Then turn so you've got your left hand on the bar, inhale, take the arm up, still in parallel, reaching forward, bend here, and stretch, rolling up through the spine, taking that right arm up, rising up, testing the balance, hold, standing tall, lift to lower into that beautiful posture we worked on, then using the inner thigh muscles, squeeze to turn the legs out to first position. So I like to say that it's coming from the inner thighs, you don't want to just turn the feet out, you want the rotation to come right from the top of the legs. So then we're setting up into that beautiful turned out position, ready for our plies. Let's go with the music, the warm up. I'm out of breath already, jeez. All right. Then you take parallel position. Head to the right. And left. And right. And left. Circle down. Roll. Other way. Shoulder roll going forward. Two, three, four. And back. Two, three, four. Forward.
Parties are fine because uh, no one can see you, apart from my neighbours. But they already think I'm crazy, so it's fine. Alright, for plies. So we're going to start in that first position that we just set ourselves up into. We're going to open the arm through first and open second, making sure we're lifting up onto that elbow. We're going to do demi plie and stretch, demi plie and stretch, grand plie. So find that demi into the grand, then back through that demi plie and stretch. Lift, turning in, relaxing forward. Demi plie and stretch. Demi plie, rolling up through the back. You want to imagine you're restacking one vertebrae at a time. Lift to open back to first position. Tendu and second. Adjust if you need to. Demi plie and stretch. Demi plie and stretch. Grand plie, keeping the heels down and hit. We're going to turn in towards the bar, chair, whatever you're gripping onto, to parallel. Bend the front leg and stretch, back leg, little calf stretch, stretch, turning back out, tendu, rond de jambe, to fourth, where we're going to go plie, it's different in, in fourth, plie, transfer, plie, tendu, rond de jambe to the back, plie, open the knees, Transfer, plie, tendu, rond de jambe, lower fourth, heel forward. Turning in, relaxing forward, rocking the weight forward and back. Bend the knees, rolling up through the spine, turning out, fourth position, tendu, fifth. Demi plie, demi plie, grand plie. In the fifth, in the fifth, we are going to rise, test the balance, test the balance, standing tall, making sure we keep that space between our shoulders. We don't want to lift the shoulders up towards the ears. We want to have that nice flow of air coming through there and lift to lower. Then we'll spin around, do it on the other side. So it makes me feel like I'm like, Somewhere tropical and not in my bedroom. But we can dream, right? Alright, first position, standing tall, arm through press, open second, then Thank you. 
shake your legs a little shake. You can do it to the other side. And I'm going to spin my bow around so you don't get a really attractive view of me. From the beginning, left side. Really working on opening those knees out and keeping that butt tucked under. So every time you clear, you want to imagine you're sliding down that foot. Keeping the back flat. Arm through first, open second. struggling with dancing on carpet but uh it's not the, <laughs> the typical dance floor let's just say that <laughs> all right let's do tondus so we're going to start in first position for tondus we're going to do tondu right leg turn in turn out so that turn out again is coming right from the top of the hip so turn it in doesn't mean lift the hip it just means twist and twist heel forward and close then tondu Flex, lift that heel even foot higher, then keep that turn out as you tondu and close. Then to the side, turn in, turn out and close, tondu plie, flex, heel forward, keep it forward and close. To the back, right behind you, turn in, turn out, close, tondu plie, tondu close. Same thing to the side, in, out, tondu plie, tondu close, fit. So that's the first part, front. In and out, close, tondu, flex, and in. Side, in, out, close, tondu, flex. To the back, same thing. And to the side, same thing. Close, fifth. Then we do two tondus to the front. Third one, tondu, plie, transfer, close, fifth. Using that inside leg. Two tondus back, tondu, plie, transfer, close, fifth. Two to the side, plie where you are, come back on the leg. Then you're going first, first, close in front, first, first, close behind. That's a little bit quicker. Then two to the back. Tondu plie, up and close. Two to the front, my bar's running away. And tondu close. To the side, plie, up. Then it goes first, first, close behind, first, first, close in front. Then we're going to balance. Coupe position, heel forward, knee back, underneath leg, strong and turned out. <sighs> Let go of the bar and try not to fall. All right, so you have the first bit in and out, flex and plie, front side, back side. Then you have the second part. Two tonies and a transfer, inside leg, transfer, side, plie up, first, first, fifth, first, first, fifth, then reverse. Balance in coup de pie. It's a fun one to say. All right, let's go. All right, let's go to one, two, starting in first position. Working on that turn out, coming right from the top of the hips. Arm through first, open second. Up to the tower, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks. 
Starbucks wearing that dress I like You smile, but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind it. But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow To the Let's side a dream, just relax All your problems we will fade you ready for a good time Come on, babe There's a party in the backyard That's your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes So one thing um, that you want to concentrate on is every time you're crossing in fifth, you're not crossing the feet. So the same as like I said at the beginning, that you're not just turning your feet out for first position, you're rotating from the top of the leg. The same thing, every time you're closing into fifth, you want to think of the whole leg crossing right from the top. So heels really coming across, but you're thinking about the thighs crossing as well. All right. Rond de jambe, my favorite. Oh wait, jeté, my bad, I got, a, got carried away. Jeté. All right, fifth position, that nice cross fifth right from the top of the legs. Fifth position, arm to second. Tendu, lifting off to jeté, lower down to tendu, close fifth, out jeté, close in, out jeté, close in, or glissé, whatever you call them. So many variations. Off the floor a bit. One of them. All right, so tandy lift, tandy close, out and in, out and in. So there's a difference here between the tandy where you want to use the floor and massage it. It's a little smoother. These jetés you want to get to, to the position and fifth, to the position and fifth. So you still want to use the floor, but it's more of a quicker action. You're doing it quicker. So out, lift, point, close, out and in, out and in, then same to the side, tendu, lift, point, close, out, close, fifth in front, out, close, fifth behind. Same thing to the back, back, lift, point, close, out and in, out and in, brush back, brush front, brush back, close and fifth. So these are brushing through first position, to jeté, and back and close. These have a little bit more fluidity. So the jetés you want to hit the position and then this you're kind of relaxing the leg a little more to just brush to close. Then you repeat from the back. Tendu, lift, point, close, out and in, out and in. Side, lift, point, 
close in front, jeté, close behind, jeté, close in front. To the front, tendu, lift, point, close, jeté, jeté, brush front, brush through first to the back, to the front, close fifth, turn to face the bar, first position. Any ballerina knows this exercise like they do it every day. I swear every, every teacher uses this, but we're going to use it because it actually helps. So, eight jetés with the right leg. If you haven't done this before, as long as you can count eight, you should be good. So you're going to fingertips on the bar, first position. Eight jetés, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight with the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four with the right, four with the left, two with the right, two with the left, one, 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 one. So you have four ones. Then demi plie, relevé, demi plie, relevé. Four times in the first. Then we're going to transfer the weight onto the right leg, left leg behind, demi plie, and four. Hold the balance, coupe derriere. Balance, balance, balance. Close fifth, hand to the other side. Quickly shift that leg. Sorry, you're going to see my butt. Close to the front. Then we do the other side. Tondu lift, point close, out and in, out and in. Side, out and in, out and in. Sing to the back. Then the brush back, brush front, brush back, close. Reverse the whole thing. Face the bar. Eight, starting with the left. Eight, four, four, two, two, one, one, one. One, demi plié relevé, four times in the first. This time you'll shift the weight onto that left leg. Four, relevés, relevés with the left leg. Derriere, coupé, balance, balance, balance. Looking fabulous and close. Okay. Fifth position, arm through first, open second. facing the bar <laughs> a little quicker than I anticipated obviously I listened to the music when I set it rather than did it but uh we're still alive well I am hopefully you still are too I'm sorry about that okay um let's now we can do Ronde Jean. yes 
hopefully there's no surprise like quicker movements than we thought um, I'll try not to sneak them in anymore so we're going to breathe the arm to the side plie, tendu du front, rond de jambe to the back straightening that supporting leg single rond de jambe, brush through the first tendu du front if you want to you can have a little moment there over your arm then plie, reverse it so you're bringing that arm up and over through the first plie back, rond de jambe up be as dramatic as you want, tongue, rond de jambe not dramatic enough to change the names of steps, <laughs> single and brush through. Then you're just going to do a brush, turn your one and to the front, cut through the fifth, to the back, through the fifth, to the side, close behind, inside leg, front, close fifth. Then you're ready to reverse it, plie back, round the jump up, single, and brush through the first, to the front, round to the back, single, brush, front. Then plie to the back, arabesque, through the fifth, Inside leg, tendu front. Make sure we're opening that side knee, but also rotating that front leg. You don't want to turn it in. So knee and heel forward. Through the fifth, side, fifth, inside leg. Straighten weight up on the board of the feet so you can turn to the other side. Close fifth. Reverse it on the other side. So, you know, you can get as emotional as you want with the arms <laughs> but your focus should really be on opening up keeping those hips nice and open when I teach kids um, I like to describe my hips as like a book opening up from the spine you want both sides to be opening up equally I don't know if that makes sense but uh, otherwise I'm just confusing kids all over the country um, so opening those hips out knees opening wide and especially when we've got the legs in other positions working on both legs being equally turned out okay i'm gonna stop talking right big position breathe the arm coming in and please single crashing through the back single One thing I just did that you definitely shouldn't do, one of many things I probably just said that you should do, but it's not about being perfect right now, right? It's just good that we're moving the body and Rebecca is really out of breath and out of shape. All right, so if you're using a bar and it is difficult when you're at home, I just on that side, my arm was really behind me if you were peeping, which you shouldn't have been because you should have been really focused on your own exercise um, but yeah you want to try as hard as it is with a chair um, to have that arm slightly in front of you because when you bring that arm behind you like I just did it pulls this side of the body round which can cause you to sort of collapse in your center which then gives you bad posture for whatever movement you're doing so try and keep that arm I'm basically giving this correction just for myself um, try and keep that arm in front of you rather than behind. All right, what's next? Fondue. You know you're hungry when you say the word fondue and you like immediately like think about food. I will earn it. 
doing this. Doing my fondue, I will earn a fondue. There we go. Bit of motivation for you. Arm <laughs> through first. Fondue in the coupe. Heel forward, knee back. Close fifth. Then fondue, extend front. Whoa. My light just flashed before my eyes. Fondue to the front. With my arm in front. Not gripping onto the bar. And close. Then inside leg to the back. Fondue. Fifth. Fondue. Extend back. Close fifth. Fondue. Fifth. Fondue to the side. Single round de jambe. Double round de jambe. Point. Close behind. Reverse. Fondue. Fifth. Fondue. Extend back. Inside leg to the front. Extend front. Fondue to the side. Single round de jambe. Double round de jambe. And close fifth. Bounce. In. Passing. <laughs> Engaging your abdominals. I'm like me. Wow. Really chose a great day to film myself, didn't I? So, the idea is with fondue, the ballet kind, not the food kind, you want to focus on both legs working together. Now, I always describe when I teach um, this toy I used to have as a kid where you'd pull the string of one thing and both the legs of the little teddy bear would go together and the arms would go together both at the same time. Now whenever I describe this to kids now they're like I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I guess they don't have an app for it. Um, but if you do know what I'm talking about that's the idea. If not just ignore what I said and listen to this which might actually be helpful. So when you plie you want both knees to open at the same time then as you close fifth both legs straighten at the same time then that same feeling for the fondue you bend together now you straighten both legs together so you want to avoid straightening the sporting leg first or extend lift you want both legs to sort of squeeze and extend together you want to have that joint action of both legs so plie and fifth straighten plie fifth straighten or think about the toy that no one apparently else owned. My sister will know, there we go. One person doesn't think I'm insane. She's definitely not doing this. If you are, props to you, Rachel. All right. Breathing the arm, arm through first, open second, and body. Dancing in your bedroom. Alright folks, 
we're nearly there, stay with me. Two more exercises then, maybe we'll do a little stretch because that would feel great right now. All right, frappe, which actually my least favorite thing ever in ballet. So this should be fun. All right, fifth position. Tondu to the side, lift, bring it in, flex position, knee open out. We're gonna do four, one, two, three, four. To the side, two, lifting up in that arm, to the back, right behind you, three, four, double tondu front, double tondu back, in, back, two, three, four, four to the side, two, three, four. It's much more fun to do with the hands, double back, double front, bip, switch, turn it around, tondu lift in. Let's get it over with on both sides, because Rebecca hates frappes. Sorry if anyone out there loves frappes, but I don't. I like the sort of drink kind, you know, but not these ones. Wow. So don't like them. Okay, adage. So I'm going to combine this with a bit of a stretch because we didn't stretch much during the class. Sorry. Um, I'm going to move this. I'm not going to abuse my door anymore like I did in the other exercise. So fifth position. We're going to breathe the arm through first. Open second. Devil pay the leg to the front. Point and close. Pour the bras forward. Firming up. Deva pay to the side, point and close towards the bar and up. Deva pay to the back, point and close, back bend. Then to the side one more time, away from the bar this time. The devil pay is eight counts, so you have some time. So you want to go up one, two, extend, three, four, lower, five, six, close, seven, eight. Forward, quarter, bra, three, four, coming up, six. Seven, eight. So it's nice and slow and controlled. Once you've done front, side, back, side with the port de bras, we're going to do a circle port de bras. So port de bras forward, up towards the bar, round to the back, in towards the center, cross the arm, reach, and reverse it all the way round, all the way down, and up. Then you can do whatever stretch that you need to do. Stretch the leg, stretch out the calves, whatever you need today. All right, let's go. Adage, stretch, stretchy adage. Thank 
You all know I need to work on my dress. the other side. Tondu or just say whatever it was with the brush through brush through we're doing the same thing you're brushing through the first and you can use that floor pressure now to really pop the toes to kick the leg up so two to the front brush back brush front and close then we're going to do two going back onto the side closing it behind closing in front then this one goes side turn it in my favorite thing side and close anyone knows the technical name for this let me know because I don't. I just tell my students, like, we're going to do one of these, like, wiggly woos or whatever. Um, which I, I definitely know that's not the correct term. So two to the side, out, turn it in, turn it out, close, fifth, then two to the back, back, front, back, close to the side, out, wiggly woo, and fifth, balance, attitude with the inside leg, lift, Hold, hold, allonge, fifth, and relax. So two grand back one, brush front, brush back, brush front, and close, two to the side, out, in, out, in. Two to the back, out, front, out, close to the side, out, in, out, balance, attitude, feeling fabulous, and finish. So one thing I am going to say, which I stress a lot when I teach, is when you're doing the grand back one, you want to feel like it's coming from underneath, so that someone's like brushing your leg up. It's going to make your leg feel a lot lighter. I feel a lot of people, aka me, um, grip the muscles in the thigh because they're squeezing so hard and they're working so hard, you've got to get that leg up, that 
you're actually making your leg heavier. So you want to try, obviously you keep the muscle groups activated, you don't want a jelly leg, but you want to have the activation, but you want to have a certain amount of relaxation on the top of the thigh. I like to imagine it like if you have a heavy box of something, that you're not going to pick the box up from the top because the box is probably going to break and it's not going to be very easy. So you don't want to do that with your leg, you don't want to pick the leg up from the top. You want to sort of imagine you're picking that box up from underneath, it's going to be a lot lighter and easy to move around. So the same thing with your leg, rather than gripping and trying to lift it from the top, you want to relax the top of the leg and brush from underneath and it's going to make that leg feel so much lighter and probably get a little bit higher. Isn't a bad thing. So, two to the front, brush, brush, close, two to the side, out, in and out and close, then reverse, balance and attitude. Last thing guys, if you made it this far, congratulations. Quick intro. getting there. Alright, so the other side. Remembering brushing from underneath. Quick intro. Five, six, seven, eight. I could be lying and tell you you're fine. Am I gonna kick my door? I could be lying no. the rest of the night. Am I gonna kick my plum? Probably. everyone well done if you did the full class um, if you liked it please subscribe to my channel like comment below and uh, I'll put my Instagram tags down there as well because hopefully I'm going to do some live classes soon live from my bedroom <laughs> um, so it would be great to have you guys follow along all right Good job everyone, I hope you have a great rest of the day and don't forget to stay nice, safe and healthy during these times um, and you know thank you to the dance community especially for really pulling together online right now, it's been really helpful for people like myself, so good job, bye.